Assalamu alaikum and good morning. Uh, today we are going to start with the experiment sonometer uh, frequency of a tuning fork. So you can see the formula to find this uh, tuning fork. So this is the sonometer. Uh, you are going to find that is to determine the frequency of a tuning fork and apparatus uh, uh, needed is uh, the sonometer box and you have uh, two knife edges uh, followed by it's a rubber and you have a tuning fork and uh, this is the tuning fork uh, you can uh, place it and now you are going to you are going to hit this uh, tuning fork and you are, you are going to place this on this uh, sonometer box now you place the paper rider here now you place the paper rider here such that uh, you can go with each base that is in terms of 500 1000, 1500, 2000, so on. So, before that, I'll just show you what are the weights over here. So, you can see this is the weight hanger provided, and you can add the weight in terms of 500, 1000. So, like this, you can add it 1000, 1500, 2000, so on. So, there is a sufficient weight provided for you, which is in terms of uh, 3400, sorry, 3500. Right, so now I'll be placing the dead weights, which is of 500 gram. Uh, so you can see this is uh, you are making use of a steel wire. So here you see uh, this is the steel wire provided. Now I'll be hanging this with the help of a wheel and also this weight hanger. Right, so uh, you can uh, see the uh, uh, thing that is uh, there is a pulley over here followed by you have a weight hanger now i'll just show you how to go with this now uh, i'll be placing this uh, paper rider on this uh, steel wire and also i have placed the weight of 500 gram so i'll be taking the tuning fork so this is the tuning fork provided for you uh, now i'll be going to hit this uh, tuning fork with the help of a rubber and I'll be placing this on this uh, sonometer box. So I'll just place this first uh, paper rider. Now, so you can hear the sound as well. Hit it carefully, search that the paper rider should fall freely like this, right? So you can adjust the uh, knife edges such that uh, to make the paper rider to fall. So this is the way you will proceed with the experiment like uh, 500 and you go on at the weight in terms of 1000, 1500, 2000 go on up to 3500 you've added. So I'll just go with the tabla column, whatever we need it here. So here you can see to find the frequency of a tuning fork, tuning fork there is a formula n equal to 1 by 2 root m into root t by l where m is a mass per unit length of the string. There is a wire we have placed it which is m equal to pi r squared d, where r is the radius of a wire and d is the density of a steel wire. We made use of it. And uh, l is the length of the vibrating segment of the wire, whereas t is mg, where m is the mass of the load suspended on the wire. That is the weight hanger, right? And g is a 9.8, which is an acceleration due to gravity. And the unit for this frequency of a tuning fork, which, is, which has been measured in hertz. Now, you can see the tabla column over here and the notation and the explanation of the formula, followed by you have a tabla column, main tabla column to record the reading, that is the vibrating length of the wire. And first tabla column here is to find the radius of the wire. So you can make use of the screw cache to find the radius of the wire. So get the screw cache, find the zero error correction and place the uh, place it on the wire. Various readings can be taken. You can record the uh, readings up to five readings. Followed by you have a main tabla column which has been uh, written like a load suspended including the weight hanger which is in terms of M. That is 1 kg followed by 100 grams. So 1 kg you can place followed by 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 up to 500 gram you can take and uh, corresponding vibrating length of the wire which is nothing but you are going to adjust the knife edges such that the paper rider vibrate and then it fall. So what you will do, you will take the tuning fork and you will hit with the help of a rubber 
and then uh, once the paper writer falls then you can uh, record the reading of it so that this is the way we will be doing the experiment throughout up to 3500 gram so this is the this is one way to find the frequency of a tuning fork followed by you have one more experiment which is the sonometer relative density of a solid and a liquid so instead of using this weight hanger we'll be directly placing the stone that is the weight of the stone will be hanging it instead of that weight weight hanger so what i'll do here instead of placing that weight uh, weight hanger i'll be using this solid right so here you are going to find the relative density of a solid so at the end of the wire you will hang this solid and uh, you will find the weight of the solid in air that is you are not going to immerse it just free uh, you will let the stone to freely hang to be freely hanged and it should not be it should not touch the table right so you will be uh, connecting it like this so here you see uh So here you can, uh, uh, I'll just show you how to place the stone, right? So here you can see the setup, search that. Uh, it's a wheel provided and uh, it is freely hanged, right? So this is the stone provided for you and it, it has not immersed, right? So here you can see it is freely hanged. It should not touch the table. Right, you should not hold the stone as well. It should be hanged freely like this, okay? So you can see the stone, how it has been placed and it should not touch the table, right? So like this, you will find the distance between the two knife edges for this particular solid. And later you will use this liquid that is a water provided. So this stone has to be well immersed in the liquid and it should not touch the sides of the bucket or else at the bottom of the bucket and it should be freely hanged inside this stone has to be placed inside the water and it should not touch the sides as well as the bottom right and also instead of taking the water you can also uh, use the liquid that is the castor oil something like that to find the relative density of a liquid across it right similar type you can go with the relative density of a solid as well as for the liquid that's it girls thank you